excavation is one piece, and then this is the next step uh, in the process that they're doing. This morning, the students had a lecture to help them identify ceramics that they were excavating to help with chronology and to help with interpretation. So to know how old something is, how old what you're digging is, and what it meant, and what people were doing. That's part of working with artifacts and what they're doing the rest of the class is working in the lab. The first step in the process is they'll take a completed bag from one excavation level. So all the artifacts in that bag have the same story, they're from the same context. And then when they'll pull them out, they'll either decide dry brush if they're fragile, like metal or organics like bone, or wet wash if they're more durable like stone or glass or ceramics. The wet ones go in the water and they need to just kind of scrub off some of the dirt to see what they found to get a better idea of what it really is and what it might mean. And then after that, they'll go on to the drying racks. So they'll dry out over the next few days because you don't want a wet artifact in a bag. In the future, it needs to be dry. They'll transfer the information from the bag to the drying tray and then they'll come back next week and put it in a clean bag and it'll be ready to be inventoried and into the permanent collections of the Peabody Museum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's from your unit, so it's your ceramic. Very you got to know it and own it.